Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. Before we start today's video, please support me and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Today's video is Maker Pipe Hacks, Tips, and Tricks. And you might ask me, okay, what is uh, Maker Pipe? I'll put a link down below to MakerPipe.com. So this is Maker Pipe. It's connectors that connect three quarter inch conduit, also known as EMT tubing. And with the different fittings, you can make a series of parts. This is a T connector. This connector is called 180 degree connector. This is a 90 degree connector. And a 45 degree connector. So the possibilities are endless. The beautiful things about this system is it all goes together with a five millimeter Allen wrench that's included. Assembling is quite simple. This is the T bracket, and it's just the same part, you use two of them. And when you put them together, they kind of want to fall apart quite easily. I found you just stick a little magnet on there and it kind of holds them in place. So the fastener is a socketed cap screw that goes on one side. On the other side is this unique nut. So you push your screw all the way through, tighten it up, and once you start tightening, the flats will lock right in to this little pocket, and then you won't need a tool on this side to tighten it up. All you really need is a five millimeter wrench, and this one was included in the kit. So when you go to the Mega Big Box store, you can buy the three quarter EMT conduit, they usually come in 10 foot lengths. Sometimes they have shorter pieces. When it comes to cutting the tubing, there's a few ways and each have their own advantage and disadvantage. The first way you cut it is with a tube cutter. The second way is with a sawzall. Make sure you use a very fine blade. And another way is with a band saw or a porta band. So let's go over the first way. Mark the location of the cut of your conduit. Place your tube in your tube cutter and line up your mark with the wheel of the tube cutter and tighten this up. Now, each time you rotate the cutter around a tube, you tighten the handle a little bit. You can see the first cut, it put a little groove in there. So now you keep Going, tightening, going. Till you cut all the way through your tube. The cutting wheel in a tube cutter rolls a burr inside, but it has no burrs on the outside. So if you're gonna just put your tube into the connector like this, you don't have to deburr it. But if you want to put something into this tube, now you have to deburr it. The two ways of deburring I use is a step bit drill, and this has different diameters, or a conduit deburring tool. With a square shank, this goes right into your cordless drill. Just slip your conduit over. And the cutting blade will deburr the outside and the inside. Or you can use your step bit. That only deburrs the inside of the conduit, but when you're using the tube cutter, there's no burr on the outside. The advantage of using a tube cutter, it makes a nice straight cut. Now, if you want to use a bandsaw or a sawzall, it's a lot smaller burr, but cutting it straight depends on how good you are with the saw. You can see with the bandsaw, a little light through there. This is not really a 90 degree cut compared to the tube cutter. But once again, 
If you're sticking inside the fitting, that doesn't matter a whole lot. So your cutting method and deburring method is up to you. I really like these T-handle Allen wrenches, but for this application, it's kind of too big. So I took the Allen wrench that was supplied with the kit and I 3D printed my own little holder. Now when you're tightening, you can twirl it up here until it gets tight and then you can come up and tighten it all the way. If you want to dress up the end of your conduit, I print up these little end caps. They snap in real nice, makes it look a little more finished. The black matches the black of the fittings. Now, if your project is going to be touching the ground, you might want to add some feet. Once again, I 3D printed these. And they're a little larger than the end cap. And the unique thing about them, you can use them where they touch the ground or the concrete, but they also have a hole in there, 3A16. A 3A16 carriage bolt, I really like this dome part. It makes a nice leveling foot, and you go in there with a 3A wrench, and you can tighten or loosen, and now you can level your project in case it's sitting on uneven ground. Or if you want to add wheels to your project, just pick up some casters, 3A16 shredded stem, thread it in, and that fits right into the conduit. Again, with the threaded stem, you can level a project. So if you build your project and you want to add maybe a piece of diamond plate for a shelf or a piece of wood, and you want to attach the conduit to your sheet goods, you can pick up these conduit clamps that slide over and tighten up. They tighten up with a 7 16 nut. When you go to buy them, Buy the ones with the carriage bolts. That way, you only need two wrenches, one in each end. You're on tight, you can screw on a piece of wood or diamond plate and make a shelf for a bracket. But be careful now because long threaded parts sticking out. Need a standard bolt, and here I went. And I bought a shorter one. Oh, you know what's going to just catch on something. If you want to add a panel and remove it, I picked up these brackets. You screw them to your wall and use whole brooms. Well, you clip on here nice. So if you want something removable, you can unclip it. I made this little drill fixture that snaps on the conduit. And then now you can drill a quarter inch hole all the way through both sides and it'll be right in the middle. For that, let's go over to drill press and I'll show you how this works. The trick to drilling a hole all the way through the tube is having a drill fixture. This is what I print up. It's got a quarter inch hole. It clips on the tube. You don't need a drill press to do this. It just makes it easier. Now you can see the hole is nicely centered there, but when you flip it around, it has quite a burr. You need to be careful when you deburr this so you don't use the galvanized plating on here. So I thought, well, why don't I just drill a smaller hole? So I made my second drill fixture, eighth inch hole. I embossed on there what size tubing it goes for and what size drill bit. We'll take the same piece of conduit, use the new fixture. With the eighth inch drill bit, we'll drill all the way through both walls. I still got quite a burr in there, so now we'll come back with a quarter inch drill without the fixture and just center it on the hole. By drilling it this way, we push the burr inside. So now we have no deburring to do on the outside. We have a nice clean hole. I'll include a link down below to Thingiverse in case you want to print any of the models that I made. My Allen wrench holder. My drill fixture. My end cap. And my foot. That can be used as a leveling jack with a bolt 
or it can be used with a caster. In future videos, I hope to apply all that I have learned today and make some unique projects. Thank you for viewing today's video. Please support me by subscribing to my channel and sharing with your friends. Thanks, we'll see you tomorrow.